So now we're going to look at the uh, menage problem or dinner party problem. So the idea here is that we've got n married couples, but n is going to be five in this case, uh, each married couple, a man and a woman. Uh, and uh, the idea is we want to seat everyone around a round table in such a way that the men and women alternate, uh, but uh, no one ever sits next to their husband or wife. And the question is, uh, how many different ways are there to arrange seating like that? Okay. So the first thing we do uh, when we uh, take the seats around the table and uh, alternate ones, we give letters, A, B, C, D, E, and the other ones we give numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so our first decision is whether the women get the letters or the numbers. And uh, so we're going to draw it here with the women sitting in the, in the seats with letters, uh, but it would be the same the other way around. So that choice gives us an overall factor of 2. The next thing we do, we've got five women and uh, five seats with letters that they're supposed to be sitting in. So we have to w assign the women to the seats. Uh, so there's going to be uh, five factorial ways to do that. So, so far we've got a factor of two and a factor of five factorial, which is 120. So overall that's 240. <clears throat> okay, so now we've seated the women. Uh, woman in seat A, we'll call woman A. Woman in seat B, we'll call woman B, etc. And similarly, the uh, woman A's wife, we're going to call man A. Woman B's wife, woman... B's husband, we could call man B. Woman C's husband, we could call man C, and so on. <coughs> okay, so here are the men down over here. Uh, <coughs> now let's uh, think about man A. Okay, so uh, uh, he's not allowed to sit next to his wife in seats one or five, uh, but he is allowed to sit in seats two, three, or four. So we can start indicating this on the chessboard diagram uh, in row A. Um, you know, seats one and five are blacked out because he's not allowed to sit there, but uh, 2, 3, and 4 are white because he is allowed to sit in seats 2, 3, or 4. Uh, similarly, we look at man C here. Uh, there's woman C. Uh, next to her are seats 2 and 3. So man C is not allowed to sit in seats 2 and 3, so those are black. But 1, 4, and 5, he is allowed to sit there, so those are white. Uh, <clears throat> so we carry on in the obvious way based on that, and uh, we end up with this kind of chessboard diagram here. The kind of staircase pattern in the middle blacked out, and also one extra square at the top right is blacked out. <clears throat> okay, and uh, so to make a uh, make a seating plan is the same as to uh, place five non-challenging rooks on this board, as we'll see here. So, for example, you know, uh, uh, man B is allowed to sit in seat four, so we put him there in seat four. That's the same as putting a rook like that. <clears throat> and then man C we could put in seat one. Uh, Man D, uh, we could uh, put in seat 5, uh, <coughs> uh, then uh, man A in seat 2, and uh, man E in seat 3. Okay, And uh, so we end up uh, with this position here, and uh, if we think of this co as corresponding to a permutation, this would be the permutation uh, uh, 24153. Okay, 24153. <coughs> okay, so, uh, so that's one, uh, one solution. Every other solution, um, you know, again, gives a different seating here, uh, gives a, an allowed seating plan. So here, here's a kind of a nice symmetrical one, four, five, one, two, three. Uh, we put, put everyone in stripes like this. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> um, so here we've got man A and seat four. Um, so that's kind of uh, three spaces around to the left from his wife, and then uh, uh, man B and seat five. Uh, so here's woman B and then man B in seat 5 again, three spaces around uh, uh, around anti-clockwise from his wife. Everyone goes, every man goes uh, three spaces anti-clockwise from his wife and we get this kind of pattern here. Uh, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> or, uh, or the other kind of extreme, we have this sort of pattern here. Man A uh, is now in seat 2, so he's uh, three spaces clockwise from his wife. Uh, and man B is in seat 3 here. So again, he's three spaces clockwise from his wife, but then uh, there's a bunch of bunch of other p possibilities that are less symmetrical, like this one. <clears throat> okay. So over overall, we find that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen possibilities uh, for for placing the men after we've already placed the women. So the uh, total number of solutions for the original problem. We've got that factor of 240 that we mentioned previously uh, times uh, this uh, 13 here. Okay. And that's the, uh, that's the total number of solutions. And uh, it's not so hard to do this kind of uh, by hand. In this case, uh, n is 5. But if n was bigger, then uh, we would need, uh, uh, then it would be rather difficult to just uh, list the possibilities uh, like this. 
um, we need a kind of more uh, more theoretical approach, uh, which will be uh, explained later.